I'm going to show you three different ways to cut an object out in PhotoP. The first thing you need to do is open up your asset from the computer. And for this, I'm going to use the dolphin. And I'm going to cut it out using perhaps the magic wand tool. But there's another tool here that could be used, uh, which is the object selection tool. And you draw a box and where the cross lands, uh, it selects what the object is. It's quite clever. It uses a bit of AI uh, to work out what the object is. In this case, though, it's not quite done it properly. Redrawn it, still not working. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this object and uh, it selected the it selected the uh, dolphin and I'm going to reverse it by clicking inverse and right now that allows me to maybe rub out using the eraser tool the um, background. Now I've made the eraser tool brush bigger by using the square brackets up near the enter key. Easy way is just to hit enter, sorry, delete on the uh, keyboard. That will get rid of everything. So using the magic wand tool, I can select some additional areas to remove. Again, I've got it selected, so I need to go select, deselect. Once I've done this, I need to go file and uh, export as PNG to export it as a transparency. What I'm going to do now with this one is show you a different method, which is the magic wand tool. Now I've selected the outside this time. The previous way was selecting an object. This is selecting the outside. It only works when you've got a plain background. And there's a slight problem with this kind of feathering of the object because, of course, they're all pixels. Um, so I've selected it, hit delete. But if I zoom in, you'll see that there's a bit of a, a feathered area where you can still see the sky. It's more noticeable with a, a white object. Uh, sorry, an object on a white background. And so you need to go select, modify, and you expand your selection by one pixel then hit delete and you've just deleted that little uh, outline once you've done that again you want to go to file export and you're going to export it as a PNG so the next example I'm going to do is I'm going to get background it's got a complicated background now this is much harder to do uh, so where possible avoid it but um, we're going to use a nice quick cheat here which is uh, select and then magic cut Magic Cut analyzes the image, and then what it does is it um, works out what you think, uh, what it thinks you want to cut out, and it maps it as green. You then need to go in and um, adjust it. So green is for keep, and uh, gray is uh, neither keep nor uh, remove, but you will need to gray out areas um, that are green or red if you want to change the colors. So uh, you're going to use the brush tool and you can change the brush to be a hard round brush or a soft brush. I recommend having a, a quite a strong brush for this because you want the computer to go, oh, this is the area they've selected to keep. This is the area they've selected to get rid of. And you just switch between the two uh, and to a certain extent, it doesn't matter what brush size it is. Um, and it's a bit of trial and error, uh, trying to get it right. And some images might not be good enough. If you've got one that's really pixelated, then it's, it's going to look bad. So you're better off getting a good quality uh, picture. You click OK. Um, and then again, when you're happy with it, you go File. And then you go to Export. Export as a PNG, and then you can save it into your drives, and you can reuse that asset in different projects.